All right, David Gann here with another question in topic 8.2. We're going to be drawing and interpreting circuit diagrams. In this case, we're going to be looking at potentiometers or variable resistors, regular resistors, voltage sources, and current amp meters and voltage voltmeters. In this question, we want to draw a complete diagram for the circuit that uses a potential divider, an amp meter, a voltmeter, and a cell to measure the current voltage characteristics for this component X. So basically what we want to do is we want to apply different voltages across component X, measure those voltages, and measure the currents that result from applying that voltage across. We'll generate those different voltages using this variable resistor to create a potential divider. What we have is a voltage source which will raise the charges to a certain potential, a fixed potential. As the current goes around the circuit, it enters this variable resistor, which we can tap out from at different places. So this arrow represents the, the setting of the potential or setting of the, of the potentiometer, the variable resistor. Here it's set in the middle, but it could be set higher, or it could be set lower. If it's set higher, That means that the current can escape the resistor before it goes through most of it. And so it'll only pass through a very small resistance. If we set it lower, it's going to have to pass through much more of the resistor. If we set it lower, it has to, the current has to get all the way through there before we can tap out of the resistor. But for now, we'll just leave it in the middle, and we'll know that it can move up and down. We're going to take that current that's been tapped out and we're going to measure it. So we'll run it through an ammeter. We'll send that through component X and back around. So basically what happens here is the current can either go through the whole resistor and back through, or it can take a shortcut out and it'll still have some of its voltage left and it'll spend that voltage moving through uh, component X. If we tap out higher, it'll have more of its voltage left. And if we tap out lower, it'll have less of its voltage left. So we can apply different voltages to component X by changing the position of the potential, but uh, of the uh, potentiometer. And in doing so, we'll get different currents, which we'll measure with this ammeter. The last thing that we need to do is we need to measure the potentials that we generate using this voltage divider. And like usual, our voltmeter will be applied in parallel. So we're going to measure the voltage across component X. Now there's a number of different ways that we could build this circuit, and this is only one example. So if you had something else in mind, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. You just have to make sure that your ammeter is in series with the current that you want to measure. Your voltmeter is in parallel with the voltage that you want to measure and that you're using the potentiometer to create a voltage divider where the current can go either out of the potentiometer or through.